Hello everybody and welcome to the life of a board gamer. My name is Daniel and today we are going to take a closer look at the game Spirit Island. So let's get down to the table and see what's inside the box. Okay, so let's check what this really heavy box has to offer. First of all, we have rules and there's a bunch of rules in this game, but the game is really not that hard to play. There is some upkeep, but overall it's really not that hard. And then we have a bunch of cool components. You will get all these different that was, uh, colonizer buildings. So you will get these churches and let me just back it up really quickly and then there is this small houses and, and, and it's really nice it's kind of sturdy plastic I think they're really nice quality made I could I could not have anything to say about about them that is bad and there's also these cool little colonizers and no matter oops they are really really tiny as you can see but I did not see any one of them break now. This really defies all the logic because these are really, really, I think you could just squish them with a finger, but they stay intact and that's, that's really something interesting. Then you have a bunch of the discs so you can represent your presence around the island. And there's these tokens that bring, that uh, represent the energy you will use to play the cards and you have to get rid of all these things to win the game. And then we have these cute little mushrooms. You would think these are mushrooms, but these are actually little huts from the people living on the island, some tribes and whatnot. And we have these tokens that represent some form of pollution let's call it like that so when when the new colonizers come they spread this all around and I could paint this this looks like really easy to paint and they would look much cooler on the board and now we remove this and then we have the map and the map is consists consists of these four tiles that you can arrange depending on how many players play uh, one, two, three or four players and then we have a bunch of different cards so these are uh, the fear cards and these these will hell uh, you will get rid of these throughout the game and there's a bunch of different cards and as you can see each ghost each spirit has its own cards to use and they have uh, different abilities on them as you can see over here uh, when are they played in the speed phase or the slow phase and uh, you can collect these to trigger some abilities and whatnot and there's one artwork is really gorgeous on this one there's unique artwork on each card which makes them really really cool and there is unique deck for each spirit so that's awesome awesome stuff and then we have some minor power cards these are the cards that you will collect throughout the game also all with unique artwork and really nice artwork I must say and we have over here these are just some cards to tell you where will the colonizers come on what on what type of terrain will they land and what will they do and then you have these uh, as you can see these are the spirits these are your player board or here it tells you how to set up and what you are good at and what you are not good at and over here is just how you play the game and how uh, how much of everything you earn throughout the game and as you can see there's a bunch of different ghosts let me just there's like eight ghosts if I'm not mistaken yeah so these are really really cool and then you have some cardboard the just to represent uh, in some statuses happening in the game and then there's this map which i really hate it unfolds in in so strange way and it just doesn't want does not want to stay flat 
when you put it like this on a board it always as you can see it warps and, and i really hate this and i try to bend it to stay correct but it just doesn't want to don't know what's happening with this but i hate it and over here you will just control everything that happens on a board where will they ravage where will they build where will they explore these explorers right and that's that and also over here you get some uh, sheets just to explain some uh, missions and these are the scenarios you can actually play and that's that that's everything that comes in a box of spirit island okay so that was spirit island and i must say i like this cooperative game now i, I i'm always searching for a new and exciting cooperative games i like cooperative games but most of them have that alpha player problem where the most experienced player in a game is always telling everyone how they should do it and it's logical it's really a good move in most cases now this game has that down to a minimum and almost non-existent now uh, when we played it when the explorers were coming on the island and trying to colonize the island and you are trying to chase them away with your spirits each spirit is unique in its own way it has his unique abilities and unique powers and cards that it can use so uh, other other players really don't know what i have in my hand i can tell them of course but you are just playing your spirit strengths for example uh, i had a spirit that uh, used cards that uh, don't cost a lot of lot of energy this spirit energy or however it is called in game and uh, my friend had a spirit with very expensive cards and i had a card to give him my energy so he can use more of his good cards because his cards were awesome but they were very very expensive and we were just uh, naturally talking with each other i will help you here and and the other friend is uh, asking for a help if someone can group all these explorers on one land he can chase them away no matter how much of them is there and we are just trying to work through get together with our cards and see how we can accomplish that now uh, it was really back and forth talking with each other there were there really were no alpha player and and that's something i really liked in this game it, it kind of blow me away because it usually it's not that usually there is always some as i told you already some form of alpha player telling everyone what should they do now the gameplay itself it, it's really fun it's really uh tactic uh, how, how are you going to do this uh, the game is hard by all means as most of the most of the games that are cooperative they tend to be really hard now we managed to win this one and it was like this to losing and we kind of managed to scramble everything up all together or four of us together with all the cards plays and everything it was just perfect storm at that moment but overall I, I, I like the gameplay I like how the game goes and there is some uh, upkeep that you okay move this here move this here then move flip this hard then this happens then this happens that can be a little bit fiddly but overall it was an awesome cooperative experience and i will definitely keep this one and play some more because it was just awesome stuff i would definitely 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 recommend you check this one so until next time Pozdrav. this video was brought to you by filibertnet.com the game in all its states